Hi there. This is a tutorial for my Airbnb rental income spreadsheet that you can purchase on Etsy for $5. So first of all, all the cells that are gray are the formula cells. So I locked them in order to prevent anyone from accidentally deleting the calculations. But if you, if you do want to change them, you can do that by going to review, unprotect sheet, and then you type in the password, which is Etsy. So it's pretty straightforward. You can use this for either Airbnbs or long-term rentals because I have two rows here for Airbnb or other rentals. This is also because sometimes you might have, um, like have it as an Airbnb, but then somebody rent it for two months and you don't necessarily want to classify those as the same kind of revenue. Well, let me just put in some examples. Let's say you made $3,000 on your Airbnb gross this month. This is the total the total gross that you've been paid from Airbnb for the entire month. I have a separate spreadsheet on how to calculate the management expenses. So I'm just going to say that we paid $500 to our manager, electricity. Okay, so depending on how you want to track things, you might just put, because when you, when you pay all the property taxes at once, it makes it look like you lost a lot of money that month. So you could also choose to annualize it over the course of the year. Um, it's your choice how you want to do this, but you would just put the annual cost divided by 12. That's how you write the formula. You press enter and then you copy and paste that into all the other cells. So on and so forth. It's pretty straightforward. So it all calculates for you automatically here. Now for this section, this is not going to be accurate until the end of the year. All these gray cells calculate automatically, but, um, these ones won't calculate until you put in the purchase price because they're basically determining how profitable your property was over the course of the year relative to what the purchase price is. So let's say this property was 180000 Just so you can see what it might look like. These are what the numbers could look like at the end of the year. And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions.